How are you, my friends? This is uh, lecture number eight from Calculus One lectures, the chain rule. Now for the objectives of this lecture, we will look at differentiation of composition of functions, chain rule in differentials and functional notation, generalized power rule, and then there is uh, two questions about applications of chain rule. Now the chain rule has three forms. We use it when we need to differentiate composition of two functions f circle g. So we have f circle g, f of g of x. Let's call it h and we need h prime. So f circle g prime will be the derivative of this f circle g. It will be f prime of g times g prime of x. This is form number one. Now we can write another two forms of chain rule. We can say let u is equal to g. This g here, we can call it u to make it easy. So y will be f of u. So we need the derivative of y dy over dx will be dy over du times du over dx because u is a function of x. Form number two is the easiest. We can use it a lot. Or we can write the derivative here, d of x of f of u is equal to f prime of u. u is the g, remember, times du over dx. This is form number three. You can use any form you like. Now let's look at example one. We have 3x squared plus 5 to the power 17. This is function h of x. Let's find h prime, the derivative. So let's take the function f as x to the power 17. And function g is the inside, 3x squared plus 5. So we can find two functions here. Their composition is h of x. So h of x will be f of g of x. We can use chain rule for number one. So f prime of g of x, which will be 17. And this is the same function here to the power 17 minus one times the derivative of the g. Derivative of the g will be six x and the derivative of the five is zero. So this will be 17 times six will be 102 and there is an x there. And inside here we have three x squared plus five to the power 16, this is h prime. Let's see another uh, nice question here, example number two. If y is equal to seven u minus 10 u cubed. So y is a function of u and u is a function of x u is equal to 2 over x. Let's find dy over dx. Also, we have to use chain rule number two. We need dy over dx will be dy over du times du over dx. So we differentiate y first. So this is d of this one. This is dy over du times d this is du here, 2 over x times over dx. So this becomes 7 minus 30u squared. You bring multiply 3 times the 10, then subtract 1. And 2 over x, the derivative of that will be minus 2 over x squared. So now you replace u by 2 over x from here, from the given. So 2 over x all squared. So this becomes 4 over x squared. You simplify inside, LCD multiply by minus 2 over x squared. You can do that by yourself, easy. And then you will get the answer 240 minus 14 x squared divided by x to the power four. This is dy over dx. Now we can look at the generalized power rule. If n is a rational number, so we can have the derivative of g of x all to the power n, it will be n 
you bring it down. G of X is the same function here. You subtract one and minus one times the derivative of the inside. Okay, so we can write it this way, or you can write if U is G of X, easy, you can write this one. The derivative of U to the power N is N, you bring this power down, times U to the power N minus one times the derivative of the U itself, DU over DX. Now given here example three, y equals one over two x cubed minus x plus seven all squared. Let's find the derivative of y with respect to x. So we need dy over dx. Okay, so you can take this power here. This is one over that squared. You can write it as a negative power, two x cubed minus x plus seven all to the power minus two, and then you can apply the generalized power rule. So bring the minus two down, and then the same function here, minus two, and then you subtract one, minus one, so it becomes minus three. This is derivative of the outer function, times the derivative of the inside, all this here. Two x cubed minus x plus seven, find the derivative there, it will be six, x squared minus one, and the derivative of seven is zero. So when you put this one, this is minus three, put it down, it will be power three positive. And here multiply minus two times minus one becomes two, minus 12 x squared. This is all dy over dx. Let's find the derivative of this function h of z z minus one divided by z plus one all to the power five. So let's use here the chain rule. Let u of z is the inside function here, z minus one over z plus one. So this one is u inside. So we have h of u of z. u is a function of z and h is a function of u. So we can use the chain rule for number two. H prime will be dH over du, remember, times du over dz. So this is the H, u to the power five becomes five, u to the power four times the derivative of du. Remember u now is z minus one over z plus one. So we have to find the derivative of that, du over dz. Remember, this is a quotient, z minus one over z plus one. So we can remember that nice rule, u over v prime, u prime v minus v prime u, all divided by v squared. So the derivative of z minus one will be one times z plus one minus, there's a formula here. In the formula, we have a minus u prime, we finished u prime v now, v prime u, v prime, the derivative of z plus one, which is one times du z minus one, over z plus one squared. And remember this one, five u to the power four. So you have to simplify everything. You can split here the power z minus one to the power four, leave it there, two times five is 10. And we have here power four here, where power two is z plus one to the power six. So all this will be h prime of z. Now let's look at some applications of the chain rule. Suppose we have physical quantity P depends on the quantity Q, which in turn depends on time t. So we have three quantities there. So if we need dp over dt, we have to write dp over dq, because p depends on q, times dq over dt. This is the chain rule actually, chain rule formula here. So let's look at two nice examples here. A spherical balloon is being inflated so we have a balloon here, 
the radius r this is the radius inside of the balloon is increasing at the rate of 0 0.2 centimeter per second so this is the rate of increasing at what rate the volume all this volume of the balloon is increasing at the instant where r is 5 so when the radius is 5 exactly we need the rate of change of the volume we know the volume of the balloon is 4 over 3 pi r cubed that's a formula it is given in the question so we have dr over dt the radius is changing by time 0 0.2 centimeter per second and we need dv over dt this is the formula for the the volume this is the same formula Okay, so we can use the chain rule. Now look here, dv over dt is equal to dv over dr. The volume depends on the radius and the radius depends on time. So this is what we need, dv over dt. dv over dr, we just differentiate the v here. This is a function of r. So it will be four over three, you bring, the pi is constant. You bring the three down here, r three minus one. So it becomes, you cancel the three. So it will be four pi r squared times dr over dt, which is already given 0 0.2. So five squared is 25 times four times 0 0.2 becomes 20 pi. 20 pi, if you have a calculator, it will be 62.83 centimeter cubed per second because that's the, the rate of change of the volume. Another nice uh, question here about a block of ice. We have a cubical block of ice is melting. So by time it is decreasing in such a way that each edge decreases steadily two inches every hour. That's here a picture, you can see that. At what rate is the volume of this cubical block of ice is decreasing when each edge is 10 inches long? So at that instant, we need the rate of change of the volume. Almost the same idea. Let X be the edge length. So we have the cubical block of ice so this is a cube. So this is x, this is x, and this is x. So all the sides is x. So dx over dt, we have a minus 2 here. Why minus 2 inches per hour? Because it is decreasing by time. What do we need? dv over dt when x is equal 10 inches. Now the volume you multiply here, x times x times x. So this is like the area of the base times the height. The height is x, the width is x, and the length is x. So it will be the area of the base, x squared, times the height. So it will be x cubed. Now use the chain rule. dv over dt will be, here. this is the chain rule here, dv over dx. The volume depends on the x, and x depends on time. So dv over dd, this is what we need. 3x squared, this is the derivative dv over dx times dx over dt, which is minus 2. We need the uh, dv over dt at 10. So we replace x by 10. 10 squared is that 100 times minus 6. So minus 600 inch cube per hour. Now always check the playlist, calculus one solved questions for more questions to understand the lectures. This is the end of lecture eight. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you guys for listening.